What's up guys, Ad Fernandez here, bringing you guys another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to do a number two all over, a blowout and a beer shape up. I'm gonna start using my Andy Supra ZR with a number two metal guard on it. I'm gonna do this throughout the head. All right, so now we're gonna start fading the lower back. I'm gonna use my Andy's Blackouts Edition. It has a regular blade on it. It hasn't been completely adjusted or it hasn't been zero gap. Make sure when you're doing so, not stopping and creating a hard line, make sure that you are flicking your wrist. Now I'm going to use my Andy's Masters on the open position, the level all the way open and I'm gonna create my second guideline. Now we're gonna close the end this mask in the close position, the level all the way close, and we're gonna start working our way up. This blade has been zero gap, so it's easier to erase that line that we created with the T outliners. Now, and this master on the halfway position, keep working your way up. Make sure you're flicking the wrist. I'm gonna use my number one guard, the masters on the open position, and I'm gonna create another gut line. As you could see previously, I like using the corners of the blade to achieve a better blind. Now I'm going to use the zero double magnetic guard on the halfway position. Now you could also keep uh, closing the level a little bit more and using the corners of the machine to achieve a better blend. I'm gonna go ahead and open it all the way and keep working my way up to achieve a better blend. So now I'm gonna use the number two double magnetic guard on the closed position. So now we're gonna start with the sides. I'm gonna use the end dispenser once again on the close position. And I'm gonna create my first guideline. Again, make sure that you're not creating a hard line. I'm gonna go ahead and open the end masters. I'm gonna go to the temple peak point. And at the same time, I'm blending the beer. Close, halfway position, using the corners. And I'm gonna keep working my way up. And I'm gonna grab my number one guard and this masters on the open position and then I'm gonna keep working my way up. Keep in mind you don't want to go too high on the fake. Some clients desire higher fake. This specific client likes it on the temple pick one. Now I'm going back to the number zero guard. 
and I'm gonna close the machine a little past halfway. As you can see that little shadow there, I'm gonna be using the corners of it to get a better blend. And it's all about playing with the level guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open it with the zero guard steel using the corners to get those darker hairs out. Now the same thing we're gonna do on the left side that we just did on the right side. So now I'm going to grab my Andy's T-Align as a Blackout Edition. I'm going to start creating the uh, shape up. Make sure that you are not pushing the line too far back. Make sure that your lever has natural as possible. And when you're cleaning like behind the ear like I'm doing right now, make sure that you're going against the grain and don't scrape the skin, don't aggravate the skin. Same thing we're gonna do on the second side. Make sure that you are keeping it as natural as possible. And guys, I got more videos coming your way. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Click that like button. And make sure that you turn your notifications on so you know when the next video just dropped. Now I'm always, when I start to do the shape of, on the front, I always like to start right on the middle of the forehead. As you can see, this client doesn't have a natural line, so I have to create one. Leaving it as natural as possible. Um, when I come to the size of the shape up right on the front, I like to let go of myself with the corner of the eyebrow. In this occasion, I'm not gonna push it too far back. Now here I'm going to be creating the art right to the temple peak point. Make sure that you let the machine do the work. Don't press on the skin guys. You guys are going to end up marking it especially if your blade is zero gap. Sorry about the beard a little bit. You cannot see what I'm shaping up the beard a little bit here. Uh, but you will see later on. Same thing we're going to do on the second side. Using the corners of the TL liners. All you do is marking it and then later on you come in with the razor and clean it.
Now he wanted his beer and his mustache as natural as possible. He did not want it to take it down some. So all I'm doing is a shape up. So as you can see, I'm using a small little brush coming the hairs down and just taking the corners of the hairs out. Same thing with the top of the mustache, leaving it as natural as possible. Again, the same thing, you wanted to keep it natural on the top. So it's good to brush your hairs before, starting in the middle, just like I did in the middle of the forehead, working my way out. So now I'm going to be using the Andes Pro Foil Shavers to take out the rest of the hairs that we just cleaned out with the Tia Liners. Now I'm going to be using the Toon 45 Shaving Gel. You can get yours at Toon45.com. Great gel. And then I like using the uh, Dorco Prime Blades. And keep in mind what we're doing right now is doing the cleanup work that we did with the TL liners. Same thing we're gonna do to the other side. Keep in mind guys, if you wanna see any other videos, uh, shoot me a comment, send me a text. You can follow my page at Fernandez on Instagram, A underscore B underscore Fernandez. Also follow Barbers Through History. That's uh, one of my other pages, bringing you guys information. Doing my best to help you guys out there. Subscribe, turn your notifications on. I can share. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More to come. I'll see you guys around. Hit me up if you guys want to see anything else. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.